First of all, I want to thank my connect. The most important person with all due respect. Next to the duffel bag. Over the past several months, the young people of Garston have come under discrimination from the older generation and law enforcement. These young skaters feel that the sport that they enjoy is being targeted and classified as antisocial behaviour. They've spoke out now and they're campaigning in favour of a secure skate park within the local area. We used to skate all the time, but we used to go to town. Into to skate because they were the best places to skate, but everywhere we go now we get kicked off by security guards, police, and we just need the skate park to skate, otherwise we're going to end up getting arrested or something stupid. They should be out there stopping real crime rather than being petty and stopping us for skating when we're just having fun. We usually get like the security coming out and uh, telling us that it's a health and safety risk, or telling us to move and things like that, so we never get to like a secure spot where we can actually, you know, do our tricks and things like that, or even just like chill really. If a skating comes over and he's, he, uh, he tells us to move and um, he gives us he gives us like the same reason each time he just says you know we, we just don't want you get, get getting into um, bother with like people coming in in the cars and um, which is like the main factor you know there is obviously it's a car park the secure spot that we have to do you know what we do as a sport you know our skateboarding that they're designed for skateboarding I know that the car parks aren't but we have got anywhere else to, to practice at all, you know. In this area, I would have to say, I think it would be unfair if all of a sudden we started clamping down on skateboarders. If, however, all of a sudden the brickwork started to be damaged and the council started uh, complaining about it because it was costing them hundreds, maybe thousands of pounds to repair, or some of the skateboarders were being sort of unruly, then we might have to look at it, you know. I know, and my officers and the other PCSOs know that really there are laws, bylaws and such whereby nobody's supposed to skateboard on a, on a full public footpath anywhere in the Liverpool area. So as far as we're concerned, um, as long as you're not causing any problems, you get on with it. I always enjoyed working with young people um, and in this generation I feel it's very hard to um, be a young person. I mean, there's a gap for young people that are missing opportunities, you know, and it's our job to go out and encourage young people. It was very sad for them because they um, were getting fines and letters written home because all they wanted to do was something they loved. If the, you know, hopefully when they achieve this, not only will they, it'll be there and they can look back and say, that's something I've done and I was a part of to get this skater park in this area. But we haven't got anywhere else to, to practice at all, you know, unless you want to go a 20 minute drive. They don't want you to do anything that involves those type of sports, but yet they have festivals each year which bring thousands of people to it, which do competitions and you can win various amounts of money and prizes and things like that. But yet throughout that year, how are you meant to practice and things like that for that for the event? You know, there's no, no way for it. It seems that everyone involved agrees that skating is a positive sport for the young people to engage in. And the only way to keep the young people safe and out of trouble with the police is to facilitate a skate park where they can meet, be safe and enjoy their sport together.